Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. So it is time again for another round of decluttering. I mentioned this before, I am in the process of moving. So I am cleaning out my collection, getting rid of old products, getting rid of products that I'm no longer using or interested in using, donating what can be donating, and junking the rest, okay? So this time around, we're going through my foundation collection. And this was a long time coming. I was holding on to a lot of older foundations because I wanted to do my foundation collection and swatches, which I normally do every two years or so, just to give you guys a reference that you can use to match your foundation shade in case you use me as a reference. I have tons of foundation, guys, and a lot of them have been discontinued. Most of them I'm not using, and it was just time to do a purge. So I finally filmed my collection video. You will see that coming up, so stay tuned. It will take a little bit of time to actually edit it before I can post it, but since I finished that video, I can now clear out my foundation collection okay get rid of the expired products get rid of the ones that don't work for me there are a lot of shade matches that just oh they were so bad plus there were a couple of formulations that just didn't jive with my skin type I have oily skin so they're just products that I wasn't enjoying so I cleared out a ton of products and I'm going to show you the ones that I got rid of in this video so if that sounds interesting to you and you want to go through this foundation declutter with me me, then stay tuned and let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright guys, so here is the first set of foundation and yes I said first set because there is more to come but we're going to go through this selection and decide which ones to keep and get rid of and then we'll gather the rest. So what I think I'm going to do is organize these by my newest foundations and then the oldest ones and then go from there. Actually, you know what? That's not really working out for me because there are quite a few new foundations here. So what I'm going to do is just grab the ones that I know for sure I don't want to keep. Did I just whistle? That is hilarious. So it's kind of going to be just a grab and go at this point. All right, I'm starting off with this Kevin Aquan Strip Nude Skin Tint. They sent this to me and honestly, I don't like it. The shade doesn't match really well, so getting rid of that one. Then I have the Cover Effects Power Play Foundation. I like this when it came out, but Cover Effects no longer makes this, and I don't wear it enough to keep it. This YSL All Hours Foundation, it's very old, and the expiration date on this is 2019 because of the SPF, so yeah, I can get rid of this one. I also feel like I can get rid of the NARS Sheer Glow. I used to like this. The shade is Tahoe. I don't really love it. I prefer the other formulation from NARS, so I'll get rid of this too. My Shiseido Synchro Skin. This is pretty old as well. The expiration on this says 2021, so I'm just going to get rid of it. I don't wear it anyway, so let's get rid of that. I think I'm also going to get rid of the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. I mean, I like it, but I don't have like a really good match and I can't be bothered with mixing foundations at this point. I also feel like the Hint Hint Skin Tint from Morphe 2, even though I like it, it's a little bit older and I'm not using it and I prefer other skin tints than this one, so I'll get rid of that too. Fenty Beauty, as much as I love Rihanna, the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation wasn't for me. I can dump that. Also, my Innisfree foundation, I like this formulation a lot, but the shades just don't match me. If I have to make shades, I just can't be bothered, so I'm just going to get rid of them. And I have my EX1 Invisiwear foundation, which I truly love, but I'm going to get rid of these two. I have backups, and I'll just get a new one because these are also getting older, so I'll get rid of those. 
All right, as much as I spent on the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation, I'm going to get rid of this. I don't love it that much, and the shade match wasn't that great, so I'll get rid of it, and I prefer their beautiful skin anyway. My newest foundations are the Makeup Forever HD, keeping my Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin, my NARS... Um, light reflecting foundation. I love my Clinique keeping that. Rare Beauty is new. Kosas is new. Givenchy is new. Charlotte is pretty new. One Size is new. This It Cosmetics Oil Free CC Plus Cream is new. My Fenty is my favorite. This Morphe foundation matches really well. Valentino is new. My Westman Atelier I love. You know what? <sighs> As much as I hate to do this too, I'm going to get rid of my Fenty Pro Filter Matte Foundations. I don't love this formulation and I don't wear it a lot, so I'll get rid of that too. Best Skin Ever from Sephora, love that. Gucci, love it. Face and Body from Dior, I like. Um, the Anastasia Foundation, I like too, so I'll keep it. Il Maquillage is new. The NARS Foundations, these Stay Matte ones, hmm... Do I want to keep these? Yeah, I'll keep those. I, I mean, I like them. The Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. As much as I love this and this was new, I'm just gonna, it's so old, you know? So I'm just gonna get rid of it. My Estee Lauder Double Wear, you know what? Um, I just opened it, so I'll keep it. And then my Huda Beauty, uh, um, what is this one? This is the Faux Filter High Coverage Cream Foundation. This is the new one, the unscented one. So we're keeping all these and we're getting rid of those. And I'm just gonna chuck them right now and move on to the next set. Alright, so this last set, I'm actually going to get rid of a lot more because these are older foundations and ones that I don't love as much. So, this I think we can move through quickly. Alright, right away, I'm getting rid of the Lip Bar Fast Face Skin Serum Foundation. I got these for review, but they discontinued them, so getting rid of those. I'm also getting rid of the Uma Beauty foundations. This may sound like I'm picking on black owned brands, but these are very orange and I don't love them, so I'm gonna get rid of these. Also getting rid of the Urban Decay One and Done Hybrid Skin Perfector. I used to love this, but it's discontinued, no longer being used, chuck it. The Laura Mercier Candle Glow Soft Luminous Foundation. This is easy to get rid of too, it's really old. My Clinique Acne Solutions BB Cream and Acne Solutions Liquid Makeup. This Acne Solutions I think is pretty new. I just opened it. Let me double check. Yeah, this is pretty new. You know what? Let me test it. Hold on. It doesn't smell bad, but look at that color. Uh-uh. I love my Ease Drop from Fenty more than this, so I'm just going to get rid of it. And I'll get rid of the Acne Solutions as well. All right, this long comb I'm keeping. Okay, Christian Dior, this undercover 24-hour foundation. This is old, expired, and also discontinued. So getting rid of that. This is a primer, keeping it. This is a spray powder. Um, is it? Yeah, it's an air powder, right? Ooh, what? No, you know, mm. I'm gonna get rid of that. It also smells funky, so <laughs> chucking that. This YSL Touche Cloth Foundation, old as hell, can get rid of that. These Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation, old, don't like them, shade match is really bad. Getting rid of that as well. The Matte Velvet Skin from Makeup Forever, I don't love these, so I'm getting rid of that. Also getting rid of the Juvia's Place Foundations. These are not good matches for me, so I can get rid of that as well. Let's see what we're left with. Ooh, I have this Hourglass Mineral Veil. Hmm. This smells funky, so we'll get rid of that. I didn't mean to put a primer here, but here we are. The Bare Minerals Bare Pro, getting rid of that. Let's see, this is pretty new. 
the Pure Cosmetics Foundations. Which one is the better match for me here? Ooh, I am not sure. Should I keep this one? This is the matte one. Okay, I'll keep the Born This Way. I'll keep the these other ones, I think. Yeah, so far, I think we're, we'll keep these. This is expired. Let me double check. It's a great match. I just opened it from my backups. It's expired, but I'm keeping it. But I need to figure out which one, which one of the pure ones I'm keeping because none of these are like a perfect match. Should I keep all of them? You know what? I'm just going to keep all of them. So we're keeping these and I'll repack them in a bit and we're getting rid of all of these. That makes me so happy. Oh my God. This was a quick one. I knew I would be able to go through these pretty quickly, pretty easily. So that's it. Yeah, foundations gone away. I'm going to toss these and pack the remaining foundations back into my collection. So there you have it, guys. I feel so much better right now. I feel such a relief. This part of my collection was low key driving me nuts in the back of my mind because I wanted to declutter so many of these foundations for so long, but I was holding on to them until I did my foundation collection video. And it was just taking so much time for me to get around to it until I finally had to bite the bullet and just hunker down and get that video filmed so I could finally purge my foundation collection. As you saw, there were so many foundations that were expired, that didn't match me, that just didn't work for me, ones that were even discontinued, so why was I holding on to them? And now I feel so much lighter, I feel so much better, and going through this entire declutter process has been so freeing for me. I feel so much relief, I feel so much lighter after getting rid of some of these old products that I just wasn't using, products that I was holding on for reference or for collector's purposes and I'm like, why am I doing this? And really and truly, I would like to get down to like a really manageable amount, but I know that's not necessarily in the cards for me, but I'm doing my best right now to get rid of as many as I'm presently comfortable with. And as time goes on, I feel like I might actually end up getting rid of more. I might not film all of it, but I'll film as much of it as I physically can. But sometimes I just wanna go through products and dump them without having to give a reason, without having to swatch them or explain anything to you guys or explain to a camera. So that's what I'm going to do. But as you can see, my collection is dwindling down little by little. And again, I feel so much lighter. So let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. I will leave the playlist down below because there are more videos of me decluttering my collection this go around. So if you wanted to check them out, definitely see the link down below. And I will also leave links to my Instagram and Twitter where you should be following me along. And until my next video, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you. Bye guys.